Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chandra here, and today we're taking a look at the LEGO Bionicle set number 71315, Quake Beast. This guy is recommended for ages 7 to 14 and includes 102 pieces, and also this guy retails for about $15 in the United States. The box is pretty much what you would expect for your $15 Bionicle set. It is made out of the uh, thick cardboard, so I'm really happy with that. And you have the nice Bionicle logo up here with the Mask of Control up in the corner. Really menacing picture of Quake Beast up here that does look actually really, really nice. Flipping around to the back will give us a better look at some of the functions, including the weapon activating, the shadow trap closing in on a mask, and of course the mask popping off. Also here you can see you can combine all of the beasts plus Umarak in the Summer Wave to create whatever that is, I'm not quite sure. And you do have this nice comic right here. You can pause the video here if you want to get a better look at that comic. And down here there is a life-sized picture of the Onua mask. Of course, two masks are included in this set, one of which being the Corrupted Onua 2016 mask. As you can see, this time it is molded in a black and a trans green. It is pretty cool. You can also see a little bit of black streaks flowing through that. It actually does look pretty corrupted. And of course, we do have the Quick Beast mask. It is the same as the other Beast masks, instead of uh, this time it is molded in a purple and a trans neon green. I don't know how it's showing up on the camera for you guys. It might look a little bit blue, but in person it actually is a really, really dark purple. Okay, so moving on to the actual figure itself, yikes. First of all, asymmetry, there is a lot of it. And I am not a big fan of asymmetry at all. I think it's pretty dumb looking, I think it's pretty pointless, I don't think it adds much to the figure. And I know a lot of you guys aren't big fans of it either. And um, that's what's really putting this figure back for me. I am not a really big fan of this figure at all. I think aspects of it are cool, but overall, I gotta say, I'd pass on this one unless you're a completionist like I am and want to get them all, in which case go right ahead and buy it. But um, I would say otherwise, save your money uh, for something else. But uh, the figure still is pretty good in terms of how it is constructed, and the functions as well are actually pretty cool. Like all Bionicle sets, you can actually pop off the mask, so that's, you know, pretty standard. And if we move around to the back, ooh, yikes, we got a lot of stuff going on back here as well. As you can see, this is actually a gearbox, and it's actually turned sideways. The gears are right there, and I believe if you turn this lever, yeah, if you turn this lever, the arm will swing around, and he can punch stuff. And here's a quick look of what it looks like from the front. And I guess it's worth noting that you could also spin that thing. So starting from the head, as you can see, it is just attached to your regular Bionicle head. Only like the other beasts, it is in a trans yellow color, along with the brain stock. And if you put the mask back on, it actually does uh, give you a little bit of an eye glowing effect there. So I guess that's pretty cool. And of course, like Storm Beast, there is not any extra add-on stuff around the head. Quake Beast also has these two blades up here. I don't know why they're sticking out of the top. I guess maybe to just add height or something like that. But uh, those blades are, you know, in your standard standard colors there. I'm pretty sure we've gotten them in those colors before. So nothing really new there. But what actually is pretty cool, there is a shadow trap on his shoulder. And I guess that kind of makes sense because as we saw in Journey to One, uh, these guys actually do form out of these shadow traps. So that's pretty cool. And you can always go ahead and put Onua's mask in there as it shows on the box. The arms are of course asymmetrical, so we're going to have to take a look at them individually. As you can see, this arm is pretty standard. It's a pretty standard arm. You just have the uh, ball and socket functions here. That's actually a really nice piece to have in a trans purple color right there. That actually is pretty cool. And the hands are made out of these pieces. I'm not quite sure what you would call those, but I do believe we got them in a few Chima sets. And those are, of course, in trans purple as well. And they sort of make a claw, so that's pretty cool. Definitely not as impressive as the claws on Storm Beast, but still not bad. This arm is all crystallized in purple crystals, and it does carry through from the shoulder up here. So as you can see, it starts right here, and then it starts to just flow all the way down to this. And I showed off that you can, of course, spin that. This is pretty much his bashing arm. It's made out of one of these star hammer pieces that we got in, uh, I believe, the Protector of Earth set. That's the only one I can remember at the moment. And yeah, crystals form all the way up here. These are those new crystal pieces, and they are in a uh, purple color. Again, it may look a little bit blue on camera, but in person they are actually really, really dark purple. It's kind of hard to see the torso print there, but uh, there... Oh, there we go. You can kind of get a better look at that. There's just a bunch of purple crystals there, or they're kind of pink. They're actually not the same color 
so that's it's kind of weird to me, but um, you know, I guess it really doesn't matter. Most of the time, the jaw is just going to be hanging over this figure anyway. And he does have this purple rib cage piece that was included in the Skull Basher set. The legs are also kind of asymmetrical, but it's not as obvious as the arms. I mean, you can see that this is a difference here in the armor shells here, black and trans purple. And also here there's a yellowish, greenish neon spike, and here there is not one. Other than that, though, the construction is pretty much the same out of the legs. It's just the difference in the armor shells. But uh, the feet are actually the larger beast feet, so that's pretty cool. And, of course, they attach to that piece right there occurs I'm not quite sure what you call that I can't think of it right now but that attaches to an adapter and it sort of gives it a little bit of a unique look that's something that I am a really big fan of with these beasts is that they are pretty unique and just real quick here's a look at Onua with his corrupted mask on so that'll just about do it for this video guys thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like on the video and click subscribe that'll really help me out quite a bit and stay tuned for more Lego Bionicle reviews coming soon thanks a lot for watching guys my name is Tanner Fishies and I will be talking to you guys again later